A mitre joint is an extremely common joint to use. They're used quite regularly in woodworking and in metalworking. This is a good example of a mitre joint. You can see there that that has been cut at 45 degrees, which will give you the 90 degree corner. Whenever you do a mitre joint, you need to measure the angle that you require. In most cases, it will be 90 degrees, in which case you will need to cut your wood or your metal at 45 degrees. Whatever the angle is that you measure, you need to divide it by two, you need to split it in half. You can't cut one side of the mitre longer than the other. If you cut one side at 45 degrees and one at 44, it will not match up. You need to cut both sides of the mitre joint equally. This is a chop saw that is capable of cutting 45 degree mitres. This can also do bevel cuts if you wanted to. We're going to cut this piece of 3 by 2 and we're going to put a mitre joint on it. To do that we're going to cut both angles at 45 degrees. You can do this using an handheld saw but it's extremely difficult and very time consuming. So firstly we're just going to loosen that lever there at the back and then we can then turn the saw around until this gauge here gets to 45 degrees. So if I zoom in there you can see that the marker is on 45 degrees. So now I can lock this lever back which will lock the table in that position. It's essential that when you use a machine like this that you get your workpiece completely flat. You don't want it sticking up and you don't want it sticking down either. And it's also got to be flat against the guard at the back there. So I'm going to push that back there and then we're just going to use the clamp to hold it in position. If you're making anything and you need a few mitres cut in, it's always a good idea to draw them on the wood before you cut it. That way when you come to the saw you don't get mixed up. So we're just going to put the gauge on there, we're just going to draw across there. So we now know that that needs cutting on that angle. It's quite easy to come to the saw and cut that that way instead, which then means that you've scrapped your piece of wood. So we're now going to cut the other piece of wood exactly the same way. With architraving and patterned wood like this, you often need to cut the mitre joint in two directions. That's why the machine cuts 45 degrees each way. With a simple mitre joint like this on some plain wood, it doesn't really matter. You can turn the wood over and you can cut 45 degrees just at the same direction. Once you've cut your mitre, you can then use some mitre adhesive and just apply that all over the wood on one part and then on the other piece spray the activator when you push those two pieces together that glue will set very quickly so once that glue set you can then put a couple of screws in there or a couple of nails just to strengthen the joint up. You can never actually rely on the glue itself. You should always put some mechanical fixings in there.